Hi, Kim. Hi, everybody, all my peepers. I want to let you know that this is an adult coloring channel, and this is not intended for children. I So if you are under the age of 18, I'm sorry, but bye-bye. Also, I have five cats and a dog. You will see cats, you will hear cats, you will hear the dog. Nothing I can do about that. They live here. Hi, Laverne. Hi, Troy. How is everybody? So, let me take care of my tea that's sitting next to me. It's been steeping. Okay, so... You know, I don't call out colors and numbers and all that, so we're just going to... I'm doing the background. Hi, Elizabeth. Haven't talked to you in a while either. I have had, like, some busyness going on. been reading and Saturday was spent the afternoon was at my parents and then we had to get groceries so we went to Walmart and Wegmans and then of course I took off yesterday because it was Super Bowl and I watch the kitten bowl, I DVR the puppy bowl, and I DVR the cat bowl. And then I watched the Super Bowl, and just making sure I stay in the lines with this. Hi, Melody. Hi, Christy. How are you? I know Kim it was and you know I have all these women telling me but it was for entertainment I don't care for their music Thank you so much, Melody. Hi, Mona. And it wasn't the way they were dressed. It was how they were dancing. And to me, that kind of dancing belongs in like a strip club. I'm sorry to say. I'm sure the men liked it. But, you know, there's a lot of us women that watch it. And I don't really want to watch women dance like that. <laughs> and I don't care for their music. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Thank you, Christy. Yeah, my grandsons were here and when it was on. I know I couldn't believe it. I finally reached my 3,000 subs. So sometime, I don't know when I get paid again from Amazon, but when I get paid again from Amazon, there will be giveaways going on. And they'll, but they'll, they will also be for international because I have so many subscribers. <clears throat> yeah, hi Carol. Yeah, you know, it's just, they need to remember that it's not all men that watch the football. Hi Selena. That there are kids that are allowed 
to watch it. So these Neil colors were sent to me. So this is what I want to use on my background. I did have the 30 set, but these were just gifted to me like a month or two ago. So thank you, Christy. Yeah, it is a family thing. So I don't know. I'm just <laughs> I don't know what to think. <clears throat> okay, so I don't know what these little pebbles are. So are these pebbles or berries? The I did them like berries laying on top of the leaves, so I'm not sure what those are. So maybe we'll just do them as pebbles. <laughs> Hi, Candace. Well, yeah, that's it, Elizabeth. You know, nothing against them. It just, I don't think it was appropriate for a halftime show. Yes, I would love to be able to move like that, too. I just, it's, I don't feel that it was appropriate. But that's my opinion, and my opinion doesn't really matter, so... <laughs> Are they all like on one layer? Where's the rest? Oh, so then there's a tray like this. I see. I haven't used these yet. Exactly, Kim. Yep. Time into place. Okay, so I am going to take this. What is this color? I want some grays. Let's use this gray. And I'm just going to just scribble it in a little bit and use my water brush. So what did everybody do today? Because um, for me, the Super Bowl ended after 10, and I wanted to go into Laura's live stream last night. Thank you, Selena. Thank you, Mona. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I checked it last night, and I'm like, I did it. I made 3,000 subs. So, yeah, I will be... doing a giveaway sometime I, I will be doing a coloring giveaway a planner giveaway a cross stitch giveaway some books and a diamond painting so they had a little bit of everything so each live stream for one week I will be doing a giveaway it won't all be on one hi Nick and Tina Hi Candace, sorry I had some food stuck under my thing, under my nails from dinner. I think it's uh, I washed them really good, but I think it's the ground beef. I made I made a meatloaf, so I think I got some ground beef under my nails, and I scraped them all out when I cleaned them, but I must have missed some. Okay, I'm going to do some browns down here. Thank you, Chai. Thank you, Mona. I had them done Saturday. Ready for Valentine's. Yep. So, yeah, I, I didn't get to bed till like midnight last night. And I had to be up this morning. I'm just trying to find colors to use down here. So I'm wanting some greens. I got some olives and I got some regular greens. And I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um... Yeah. 
So yeah, I like I said, I didn't get to bed till around midnight, and I had to babysit this morning. So I got there a little bit before seven. I wake up Carson at like quarter after seven, get him dressed for school. Blake didn't have to get up, so um, I let him sleep. Carson gets on the bus at 8 o'clock. And after I got him on the bus, I curled up on the couch and went back to sleep. And I woke up. And Blake was still sleeping. He did not get up until like 10, 1030. So I'm like, okay, I'll let him sleep. Oh, thank you, Carol. That means a lot to me. I do this because I enjoy it. But I can't believe I got to 3,000. Because last month, I've been, well, I've been stuck at like 2500 for a while and then I did the diamond paint in a thon and I got more subscribers and I only needed seven more people to get to the 3000 mark so last night I happened to go in to uh, my studio and I looked and it said I had 3,001 subscribers and almost fell out of my chair so I had to do a little happy dance <laughs> thanks Nick and Tina I saw you streamed tonight I'm glad you guys are feeling better I am um, I've had to cut down on the streams during the week Just because when I get home, I want to relax and watch TV before or after my streams. So it's like I can't be in everybody's streams. So I save my streaming watching during the weekends. And there's another one I forgot to do. And yes, I know I don't have to color this in. I can take it from the tip of the crayon, but I felt like doing this. Oh, you did? That's cool. Do you have a lot of people going to your stream? Did you diamond paint? I'm just coloring lightly. It doesn't need to be perfect. I do want to add a little bit of darker around some of this. So I started taking my color in with me when I babysit. So when Blake's playing in his room, I can listen to my book text-to-speech and color because I haven't been coloring lately everything's been diamond painting so when I got home today I had to get dinner going and I watched most of the puppy bowl from yesterday and diamond painted Oh, you did color. So, yeah, I I watch um I watch YouTube videos 
in the mornings from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And then I read the rest of the day, except for lunchtime when I'm ha when I'm fixing lunch and eating lunch. Um, Blake's at the table with me, and then I watch some more videos. So I do watch videos. I just don't always leave a comment, but I always leave a thumbs up. So I watched a few today, and I can't remember who was all I watched. And you know I'm probably not going to like this when I get it done. I never like my back. Well, I can't say I never like my backgrounds. I like the backgrounds that I do when I watch other people do them. But this will be fine. I just, there's some grass and then I got to start doing the blues. But I'm going to do the grass first and I'm going to get the dark one. Hi, Laura. How are you? Hi, Lori. How are you guys? So, yep, watched watched a bunch of videos this morning. And then I got when I got home today, I worked on my um, net galley list for reading and my TBR for this month. And tomorrow, when I get home, I need to do a bunch of book reviews on Goodreads and my blog. Also tomorrow night I need to make some videos because I did not do a December finishes. So I'm gonna do December and January finishes and it's not just going to be coloring finishes. I'm going to also add in my diamond painting. And if I have cross stitch finishes I will add those into my finishes too. But I don't have one of those. Hi, G girl. Okay, I forgot why do you even exist. I forgot your name. I need to write it down. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Okay, Stormy, that's right. Okay, I wrote it down. I have a notebook that I keep track of some some of my newer people. So, yep, I, I finished a book this morning, and I started another one. And, yes, they're romance, Laura, so you wouldn't like them. <laughs> I hear her gagging already. <laughs> okay, let's get some of this. You see, told ya. <laughs> She's going yuck. Hey, 
yeah, Laura does not like the romance, Elizabeth. That's okay. We all have different tastes on what we like to read. You read nonfiction and I don't. And you read more of the historical romance. Some I'll read. I'm just kind of picky. I do like a good psychological thriller and I gotta fit them in somewheres this month. I have four or five blog tours and I've already read two of them. Yeah, I read most everything. I don't care for nonfiction. And, um, I don't know. I just, I went a long time without reading the romance. I got sick of them. And so I hadn't read romance in probably five, six years. And then I picked them back up again. So... For a long time, I was reading a ton of YA fantasy. And then I had to take a break from those. So, that's probably why I've been reading. I want to fade this out into the sky. But... So many nice color lawns going on that I want to do this month. And the yearly ones. We have so many Hannah Lynn ones going on. It's like, yes, one picture can go for like five color lawns. Oh, yeah, I like the paranormal like that, too, Lori. I like, yep, the fey and all that. Yep, shapeshifters. I like all those, too. But I haven't read one of those in a while, either. So. Yep. Vampires, shapeshifters, I like all those. Need to find some more like Harry Potter because I really, really liked that series. And that was really sad. Mary Higgins Clark passed away. And I didn't realize she was that age. She was a lot older than I thought she was. So no more books from her. Who am I missing? Someone came in. Hi, Anne. How are you? I think Anne's was one of them I watched today. It was either today or yesterday.
other people's names to come up in orange. Oh, Anne, like, Anne likes bats, and so on her channel, she calls all of us subscribers her little fruit bats, so we call her Mama Fruit Bat. And on my channel, I call all my subscribers peepers, which is frogs, because... In the summer, when I started my channel, I think it was like summer or spring now, and I was always making my videos at night, and you could hear the peepers, which are frogs, always through the window, so I call all my subscribers my peepers, but Anne's always called all of us her fruit bats. And so we call her Mama Fruit Bat. And some of her subscribers have given her little stuffed bats that she shows on her channel and has by her when she's coloring. And I have some frogs. And there's a lot of others that call, their, they don't call them, they're their subscribers. They call them something else. Um, Jessica, who is now Jessica Sparkles, she calls us, I think, all her lovelies. Because I didn't want to call my subscribers. Oh, there's my subscribers. And some people come in and out, so I really don't call them my friends. So I just, I wanted something. And so someone had told me, you should call everybody your peepers. Your lazy Candace. Yes, Laura calls all of us her sugars. Anxiety Art Adventures. We're all of her sugars. Yeah, and fibs, which is friends in the box. So you might hear us also say the fibs, which is the friends in the box, which is those of you that are chatting. And each community is a little different. You know, I'm finding, like, um when the live streams aren't working all that great and it's buffering the coloring community says Buffy's paying us a visit yes uh, Nick and Tina's we are Nick's angels <laughs> we are all of Nick's angels So in the diamond painting community, when it's buffering, they all call it a hamster wheel. Also, I notice in like the diamond painting community, if you're trying to talk to like whoever's the host or hostess they don't seem to use caps to get their attention like we do in the coloring community like if people come in here to say hi when they first come in they say hi to me and everybody we usually use caps so that I know you're talking to me and I don't really see too much of that in the um diamond painting community I know I've done it a couple times and they they still don't see me hi Barb 
You're eyeing a tripod on Amazon. Yeah, Christy, yeah. I, the first time I heard that, I'm like, what are they talking about a hamster? And then it dawned, and then after I was watching it, I realized what they were talking about. So, yeah, it's fun learning all the different lingo for the same thing. <laughs> And I think um, Selena calls us something, too, on her channel. I know there's a couple others. Yes, um, Jessica used to call us love bugs, but I thought she called us lovelies the last time I watched her. And Grace calls us something, too, and I can't remember. Barb, I don't edit. I don't have an editing program, and I'd rather just make the videos or go live than to spend all my time doing that. Okay, I'm not sure how I want to do this. I think I'm going to go light, medium, and dark. Now, I know it makes our videos look better when you edit, but yeah. Hi, Rosemary. Thank you, Anne. Why is it when I get on here and I talk to you guys, I get nice and mellow and relaxed, and then I start yawning? <laughs> and I'm like, I get really tired. It must be that I'm w winding down for the night, and you guys are keeping me company. Melody, I have, I have a webcam, so I downloaded a program on my laptop called OBS, and that's what I use, and that's free. And so my webcam is hooked up to my laptop, and that's what I use for my live streams. For record, if I make videos, I use my camcorder and I upload them and I make the videos smaller and use, oh my gosh, and I forget the name of the program I use, but it makes them into a smaller file so that they are faster to upload. Thank you. So, yeah, um, 
I know handbrake. That's what the program's called, handbrake. And so I take my videos, I upload them onto my old laptop or my PC, preferably my PC, but right now that's down. So I, I download my videos onto my, my laptop. Once they're downloaded on the laptop, then I put them through handbrake and it makes it into a smaller file so that it's quicker to upload onto YouTube. I can hear Molly yelling. Molly has been yelling since 8 o'clock that she wants food. They don't get fed till like 9. I told her she's a little early tonight. I can still hear her in the kitchen yelling to be fed. <laughs> and I don't know where Pearl is. She's been up my butt all since I got home from babysitting. Hi, Dina. How are you? No, Melody, it's not confusing at all. If I can do it, you can do it. I just You just upload from your camera onto your computer or laptop, and then um, when you're in Handbrake, it will ask you what file you want. So you just go into that video you just did, and it takes maybe, it depends on the length of the video. If it's an hour long video, it takes like eight minutes to render it. And then once it's done rendering, then you upload it to YouTube. It's really easy. Oh, I forgot to color a leaf. How did I do that? And I know there's other programs out there. That's the one I found when I did a search on YouTube. So that's what I've always used. Oh, yeah, your phone or your iPad. I've never made videos with my phone. I've used my phone for live streams, but never for videos. That's why I bought a webcam and my cam, my camcorder, or yeah, my camcorder. Hi, Abby. So, what is this color? Prussian blue. Is that darker? Yep. So... Did you guys see the commercial? It was on the Super Bowl. I don't know if it's been on TV today because I haven't watched TV. But um, did you see the one with Bill Murray with the Groundhog? It's a Jeep commercial. Oh, my gosh. If you've ever seen the Groundhog movie with him, that's what it's from. I laughed my ass off. So if you didn't understand the commercial, that's what it's from, is the movie he was in from Groundhog Day. And if you haven't seen it, go find it to watch it. I 
I think that was the best one I saw last night. <laughs> yeah, I've seen Caddyshack too, but this had to do with Groundhog Day. So I think it's a little bit of both movies into one commercial. But mostly Groundhog's Day. Groundhog's Day is when his day keeps repeating itself over and over and over again. Like the commercial. Where Caddyshack, he is in charge of the golf course and keeping the grass cut and all that. And he has a woodchuck that's constantly digging holes and stuff into it. <laughs> oh, good, Candace. I'm glad. Okay, let's see if I can make a gradient since I did a light blue. As you know me, I kind of suck at watercolors. Because to me, it should be nice and smooth like doing colored pencils and markers in... That is not how watercolors work. Who did I miss? Hi, Jen. How are you? So, I can now talk more about this weekend coming up. It is February. And starting early Friday until late Sunday night, you are going to have all kinds of streams to watch. And we're all coloring fairies. We each are doing a different design. Crap, I wish I had my tweezers out. Um... There is, I forgot how many artists that are doing this. They have given all of us their, their colored pictures free. Those of us that are doing the streamathon, we get free ones. And then you guys get to buy them discount during the three days. And that's the only time the discount's good for, is the three days. You do not, Anne. You're fine. <laughs> so, in a few minutes here, I will send, I can now send you the streaming schedule. So that you know who's on and when. All the time zones are listed. For all time zones. And I am really excited. Belinda from Faithful Girl 1978 is the one that um, is in charge of it. And then she had help with someone else. And then a lot of artists have given us the free it, the free um, images. And then each one of us had to pick an image that we were going to do. So I don't think that there's any of us doing the same image. So, in a few minutes, I will give you guys the schedule. So, I am, like, really excited. Belinda messaged me a long time ago when, they, when she first started doing this. So, I had, there were a ton of openings left. A lot of them hadn't given her times yet. So, 
Um, my time is Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for two hours. I can't remember what image I'm doing. I have to go look it up. I picked it but I didn't write it down so I need to go do that so that when I pr I know which one to print up for my stream thank you yep and then there's a um, Facebook page that has all the information I don't know who's in there. If none of you are in that, then I can put up the link for that as well. So I'm not sure who in here is in that is on that page. Yeah, I usually use like pastels for my backgrounds, but today I'm like, I need to pull these out. And I probably won't like it, but oh well. I need to bring that down in here more. It didn't do a gradient like I wanted it to. No, Miss Pearl, I don't have time for you right now. Nope. Go play with the dog. Go play with the dog. Thank you, Anne. Okay. Let me go find February news. Why does it keep doing that? Here is the February page, and let's see. And here is the schedule. They're just live streaming for three days. It's a live stream. It, that's why it's... I think the whole month you can color fairies, but the color of Thon is just this weekend for three days. So I think the color lawn is the whole month. It's just that the color of thon is this weekend. 
Bye, Robin. You leaving? You guys are driving me nuts with your meowing. Well, I thought Scott would feed them. Oh, okay. Oh, that's awesome, Barb. I did not know that about Sue. Go on. No. Go tell Daddy to feed you. Out. Out. Come on. Pearl, come on. I can't feed you. Like, we want to be fed now. Yes, that was Pearl. I just closed the door. Plus, Molly's in the background screaming bloody murder because she thinks she's starving to death. Because this is their time to be fed, and I'm on here, so I can't feed them. And even if I did go and feed them right now, I have to watch them because the male cats gobble up their food and then they steal the female's food because they're nasty like that. So I have to stand there and play bodyguard. And sometimes Molly and Ruby will take their jolly old time eating their food and some days I like standing there for 15-20 minutes. Pearl is a picker so she likes to eat a few pieces of food, walk away for about 5 minutes, go back, eat a few more pieces of food, leave and go back and forth like that. Well, that does not work with my male cats because they're hogs. <laughs> if Pearl wakes up Kenji, I am sending him over to ship into you. Why has Kenji been bad, Anne? <laughs> Kenji's been naughty. Okay, I want to put some more of this here. would Kenji do? <laughs> oh, it, Robin, she didn't change her name. She has two channels now, in case Anne doesn't see that. Her other channel is for coloring, and this one here that she's under is for all of her other crafts, like diamond painting and stuff. I wasn't sure if Anne saw your question. Hi, Coloria. So yeah, Robin, if you want to watch Anne do her other crafts, then um, go subscribe to her Crafting with Anne. Okay, Barb, thanks for coming in. Thank you. 
Take care. Oh, good. That's, um, it's going in better. It's what I wanted. It's what I wanted. Now, I still got to do black on him and on the spider and it looks like he it looks like a heart on the top but i think i'm going to use fine liners and i need to clean this up better what did i do is that what i did and then put that there And then I'll probably wait for this picture to dry before I do anything else to it. I'm trying to get my neodes back in the package. Oh, thank you, Anne. I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody that has subscribed to me and got me to the 3,000 mark. Okay, I'm going to put this aside because I'm going to let it dry. But I have another picture already started. So let me put this stuff away. So, now we're going to work in Geomorphia, but I need to make room. Thank you, Patty. How are you? That's what I'm on, too, and I think 38. And I made a mess. Look at that. <laughs> it's those Neo's dues. All clean. Give out my filas. Okay. And that is not wrong. One night with you work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We could be like Peabody and drool over him. Thank you, Nick and Tina. I love you guys, too. You are one of my biggest supporters. Okay. So as you can see, it's Geomorphia, and I'm working on this page, let's see, get it in frame, using my Fila's, this is a buddy color with Catherine, which she must be teaching tonight, she's not in here, at least I didn't see her. Yeah, and definitely Rourke. <laughs> I 
Are you talking about crocheting or, or knitting? Is that why you're calling yourself the hookers? I haven't talked to Catherine in a while. <laughs> sometimes she is so quiet, I won't hear from her for like a month. And sometimes if she's really sick, I don't hear from her for two months. Even though I'll keep sending her texts going, Hello, answer me so I know you're alive. Mm, that tea is so good. I got to my vanilla chai. I like to have one cup and then I switch to my honey vanilla chamomile because that makes me sleepy. Oh, um, mm, Laura, my mom was talking about sometimes having trouble sleeping. So she always drinks her chamomile or sleepy time. But did you know that there's something in the pistachios that will make you sleepy? So my mom said that sometimes she'll have a handful of pistachios. And I said, oh my gosh, I have to tell my friend Laura. Because I never heard of that. Yep, that's what she told me. She read it somewhere. So, I do too, so I bought a big bag of them. <laughs> Hi, Janae, how are you? So, I thought I would let you know about the pistachios. What? 5 a.m.? Did you stay up diamond painting? Oh, yeah, pistachio ice cream. Yeah, it's really good. I am doing really well, Janae. Thank you. But, yeah, my mom read that, and she was talking about it Saturday when I saw her. And I'm like, I have to tell Laura. She couldn't figure out why the sleepy time in the chamomile is not working for you. Reading news articles on the computer or your laptop, I meant, or your phone, which is what's making you not fall asleep. I've had to start cutting myself off. That's another reason that I, I'm i not on the computer much during the week, only on the weekends, so that I can sleep and get up to babysit. Because sometimes I am like taking two cat naps there a day. <laughs> yeah, I think that has the same thing though with the, with the lights on the, on the, tablets too either that or go by they have um glasses that will help <laughs> yeah i don't watch the news that's what it is rosemary the melatonin is in the pistachios thank you janae yeah it's got melatonin in the pistachios. That's what I knew there was something in it. Cause I take melatonin every night. And that helps me. But I only do that the nights that I have to get up in the next morning to babysit. The weekends I don't take it. Sunday night I do, but like Friday night and Saturday night I don't take the melatonin because I can sleep in so you can try it but you might want to invest in those glasses too that are made for when you're on the computer a lot and I don't think they're expensive I think they're like $15 someone said but I know if I'm on the computer at night, I have a hard time falling asleep. So, thank you, Carol. Yep, 
Yeah, I was never one to watch the news. I get most of mine on Facebook, and you know that most of that is fake news. So... I'm just seeing where all the grass is on these, like, mountains, rocks, whatever. <laughs> there you go. Anne has a good idea. It's true. Yeah, it's like, who's who has that boring voice? Someone has that boring voice. He goes, Mueller, Mueller. Who is that? Listen to him talk. He'll put you to sleep. Bueller, it is. <laughs> you picked some autobiography. Oh, my God. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't been coloring a lot either. Color, is it Coloray or Coloria? I've been diamond painting a lot. So, now I'm taking my color in with me when I babysit. And because I usually read a lot, but I have a Kindle that I can do text to speech so I can listen to them in color because my grandson plays in his room a lot and he doesn't let me sit and play with him. My boys didn't neither. Okay, Rhea is fine. Yeah, so you're only getting, what, four to five hours sleep? That's not enough sleep, Laura. No wonder your anxiety bothers you. It's been bothering you more. You're not getting your sleep. Like last night, I only got six hours sleep because I really, really wanted to stay in your stream. So I, by the time I got done saying goodbye to you and then I got stuff ready for today, I didn't get into bed and asleep till almost midnight. And then I had to be up at six. And for me, I need eight hours sleep. So like I said, when Carson got on the bus... Blake was still sound asleep, so I curled up on the couch and went to sleep. And I slept for probably an hour. And then I was fine the rest of today. And Blake didn't get up till 10, 10.30. Now, tomorrow he has to get up at 8 because he has um, occupational therapists that come in. <laughs> I had um, Dylan, Amber, and the boys here yesterday for the Super Bowl. Is she kind of invited them over when she was here Friday? She said something about them coming over, and I'm like, that's fine. So um, 
I had started making, I made a hot crab dip, and I had shrimp for us, and we weren't doing a spread like for New Year's Eve because there was so much food left over. And we bought DiGiorno pizzas because we love the DiGiorno. And the cost now to get pizzas from the parlor is like ridiculous. And they're putting on less and less cheese and charging you more. So DiGiorno is good for us. So Scott had bought, they were two for $7. So Scott had bought a pepperoni one for him and a Supreme for me. And... Dylan brought pepperoni ones for the boys, but my my oldest grandson, he's six, he likes to go through my fridge to see what I have. So he found my leftovers of spaghetti from Friday night, so it was still good to eat. So he asked if he could have the spaghetti, and I said, sure, if you want it. He ate almost all of it, and there was quite a bit left. But I get a kick out of him because he's always going through, going, what can I have? So he was eyeing some of my fruit, and I said, no, Mima needs her fruit. If I have a lot of fruit, I share my fruit with him because he loves his fruit, but they don't really buy it because if they buy the fruit... And have it at home. He doesn't eat it at home. He does if I'm babysitting. He'll eat it. But for some reason. And if I'm not there. He doesn't touch it. But he loves fruit. And I had bought four. Um, blood oranges. Well. I told Dylan. He can have other fruit that's in the fridge. He cannot have my blood oranges. Those are my favorites, and they're a dollar fifty a piece. And he's like, "What?" And I said, "Yeah, I get them twice a year, because they're so freaking expensive." And I love blood oranges. So, I told Carson, "Sorry, you cannot have those." <laughs> But, yep, they were here for quite a while. And Amber has had a cauliflower pizza because she has celiac, so she can't eat the regular pizzas. So she had brought her own. So... We had a good time. And they left here at 930. So it wasn't too bad. Having some of my tea. Well, I hope that you get better, and that's not like you to be like that. You're always bubbly, and we don't like Mama Fruit Bat to be like that. And I want Laura to get some sleep. <laughs> I can tell Laura's been tired. I don't hear from her. I was ta chatting with her like every day and she's kind of slowed down. So I'm like, I'm not bothering her. My luck, she'd be sleeping when I wake her up. I don't like it when my friends don't feel good. So, 
I visited my parents Saturday and my dad's had a nurse that comes over now. It's only for a little while. Well, my mom said that she gives my dad his shower. My mom says when she gives him a shower, she has to clean up all the water on the floor. It's all over the place. She's got two towels. She soaks up all the water. She said when this nurse do gets done with my dad, there's no water on the floor. She goes, I think I better watch her so that when I give him his shower, I don't get water all over the place. I said, yeah, you probably should. I know, Laura. I'm just always afraid you're tired. Or your anxiety is bad. I'll have to check in with you more. Oh my God, he still has not fed them. I can still hear Molly yelling. I don't think he went to town. I thought I could hear the TV in there. Okay, so Oh, Rosemary because of his job. Not good. <laughs> Hi Linda. So how many of you I don't know why all of a sudden I've gotten a callus on my middle on my little finger. And it hurts, and it always looks like there's a hole in it, but there's not a hole. But, yeah, it gets really hard, and it's a callus. And I don't know if it's from coloring. I don't know if it's from my two fingers rubbing together. Yeah, I get depression. Hmm. Usually any time now from the weather. Because... Usually our winter, you know, I'm in western New York. We get a lot of snow. We have a lot of gray days without the sunshine. This winter has been really, really strange. We usually have one to two weeks in January where we're getting a lot of negative numbers. We're down in the negatives. We haven't gotten below eight, I think. Our temperatures have been... I know, that's what I'm thinking, Rosemary fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, he's um he's going stir crazy because he does not like to sit still. So he's going stir crazy. So today he messaged me. I had done laundry, but I didn't get around to folding the socks and underwear. So he messaged me while I was babysitting. He goes, I folded the underwear and the socks. I said, well, you must be bored. I said, well, I can give you more chores. I said, why don't you take the sheets off our bed, go wash them, and throw them in the dryer. So he did that. I said, and you bought new smoke detectors. I said, they're still sitting in the bags from a few weeks ago. Why don't you go put those up? So when I came, oh, he called, then he called me bossy. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm not being bossy. I'm trying to give you things to do. So he did. He put the smoke detectors up. Just trying to give him things to do. I can hear him feeding the cats now. He's picking on me. You're being bossy. <laughs> no, I'm not. So yeah, he's not, he can't stand being home. He's put in an application in one place and he's going to a job fair. But he's hoping they call him back real soon. Yeah, 
Justin did up a resume for him. Hi, Bianca. Yes, I agree, Rosemary. I you I felt for Anne too. So my depression usually comes in in February and it'll last a week and then I'll be fine. But I don't know if I will because we've had a lot of sunshine days. We haven't even had really a, we have not had a major snowstorm. Oh, Tammy, I am coloring in Geomorphia. By Kirby Rosanis. And this is a color along, or a buddy color, I mean, with my friend Catherine and her mom. But her mom finished hers a while ago. You fell asleep for three hours. Yeah, my anxiety, my, my anxiety is triggered by crowds now. Sads? What is sads? I don't think I know what that is, Janae. Okay, these I think are going to be like a grayish color. And I'm using fine liners on these little guys. I don't know what color yet. Seasonal depression disorder. Oh, okay. I get it. I mean, I understand it. What you're saying. I don't get it. I don't have it. I just get the one to two weeks, like February or March, but we've had warm weather than what we should. I just don't know what to expect for the summer because I don't do well with the heat and humidity. So if we've had a really warm winter, does that mean we are going to have a very hot and humid summer? Because I can't do that. Yeah, Lori, yep. I know, Anne, I saw that one she sent you, and Tammy just sent me one today, too. So I can't wait to see what she sent to me. Tammy is a very nice person. I've gotten to know through email. Keep finding little patches of the greenery. Oh, 
you have a lot. <laughs> You see the new one, the new diamond paintings from Treasure Art, Treasure Studio Art. Oh my gosh, they have a Cheshire cat that I have to have. I have to have it. I am an Alice in Wonderland person. I love Alice in Wonderland. And I saw that new Cheshire cat, and I'm going, okay, I have to come up with the money somehow. You can see a monster movie based on my picture. <laughs> oh, I am so glad, Janae. That is so awesome. Yes, have to have it. So Janae is new to the color in just for those of you who don't know her. And she asked me what the best thing was for her to buy being a beginner. And I told her to buy a Johanna Basford and buy a set of Crayola pencils in case she doesn't like it. And she bought Magical Jungle and the Crayolas and she's loving it. So we have another colorist in our midst coming over from diamond painting community. <laughs> what, Tammy, wanting something that just came out <laughs> and having to have it? Yeah, Chuck Pinson, his, he doesn't speak to me like some others. A warm winter means mild summer below 70s and lots of rain. Oh, awesome, because I don't, and I don't care about the rain. I just don't like the heat. Although, if it's really damp out, that will kill my arthritis. So I'll be popping Tylenol arthritis because that worked the last time I took it. Yeah, Diamond Art Club has a couple more I want. I want that new Nikki Burnett that just came out. And then there's Dragon One. There's Dragon One also on Treasure Studio Arts. Is, is that the one that's called I Am? Yeah. I want that one too. Scott needs to win the lottery. He buys the tickets. <laughs> he needs to buy. He needs to win the lottery. Then he wouldn't have to worry about being laid off. <laughs> you colored a page during the Super Bowl? You may or may not. That means that you did. Bye, Bianca. Thanks for coming in. I am glad that our two communities are like just joining together. It is so awesome with the coloring and the diamond painting. Also, a lot of them cross stitch like I do as well. So, we are getting some of them that cross stitch too so I think it's great you are Laura oh see I can't do that I like the counted because if you don't get those X's just right on the fabric, then you can see the stamped portion. So I'm a, I'm a counted cross-stitch girl. I don't like the stamped. But maybe you'll like it enough you'll try the counted. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Lisa. I'm glad you did, too. Now, Lisa, do you have... Um, do you put up videos? Do you have a channel? I could look. Am I subscribed to it? I'm subscribed to so many people. Oh, yes, you are. Okay, I just clicked subscribe to you. There. Oh, the ink washes out on the stamped cross stitch? Okay. Well, I just subscribed to you, um, Linda. These are the Fila pencils. I'm using the Fila pencils right now. Um, it depends on what you can afford, Janae. If you want a nice set of pencils, they have nice colors and they're soft. Oh, okay, Lisa. Thanks for letting everybody know. Yeah, Prismacolor is a nice, it's a mid-budget, yeah. I would recommend them. Tammy, that is my next in investment, is the A2 light pad. I like the Prismas. Buy the small set first. Or if you are by an art supply store where you live, just buy um, a few different shades and try them out to see if you like them before you buy the 150 set. They have 150 colors. They are a wax pencil. They are very soft. Yeah, Castle Arts. Um, hmm. I have so many pencils. Yep, Artezas are good pencils. And it depends on if you want um, hard lead or the soft lead. The hard lead is your oil pencils and the soft leads are your wax. Like the, um, the Crayolas, I think they're a little bit of a harder lead. To me, they are. Yeah, Polycolor by Koinor. I like my Spur Farbins. On Amazon Basics are nice ones, too. Amazon Basics has colored pencils. I have those. I also have most all the expensive pencils, too. So it depends on how much coloring you're going to do and your budget. So, but I have like every set of pencil that's out there. I don't have them all, but most of them. And then most of them were given to me. Because I've had some friends who spoil me. Yeah, I took a break from the Prisma pencils for so long because I was constantly getting new pencils in. So I was using those, but I've been back into my Prismas. Plus your Prisma colors, you can buy open stock. So like when you run out of a color, you can buy them open stock. I have this every time. Usually when Catherine and I usually go 
to um hmm. hi nina beaner you finally got the polychromos oh my gosh see those are like i have five favorite sets of pencils and that's one of them so I have this container. These are all my extras of Prismas. So when Catherine and I, we go to the art supply stores like twice a year when she's here. And so I just stock up on the colors that I use the most. So that is the one nice thing about certain brands. Certain brands, you can buy them separate. Yeah, Holbein's, oh my gosh, and Luminance. I am, I love my Luminance. So I like my Polys, my Prismas, my Luminance, my Holbein's, oh, and my Black Widows. You did get your Cali Art Markers today? I have the Cali Arts, but I'm giving them to my friend's daughter. She's, I think, 30. But um, I just, I have a lot of the Prismacolor markers, and I have quite a few of the Copics. And so I'm using those. So when my Prismas start getting dried up and I need to replace them, I'll replace them one by one with a Copic. And the Copics cost quite a bit, but you can refill them. So that's the one nice thing with those. But right now, I can't do any of that. <laughs> i got to wait. <laughs> you got the I wants badly. Yep, you're addicted to the coloring. That's right, Nina Beamer. That's what you tell them. All of them. I have like 30 sets of pencils. All different brands. I have cheap budget-friendly pencils up to the most expensive pencils. So, yeah. But And I do like the, the budget-friendly. I have a few sets I really, really like. They do like my Black Widow pencil sets, the Scorpions and all that. I love, And I love the names of the pencils. But they're a really nice pencil to work with. Bye, Nick and Tina. Thank you. Yes, Rosemary, I bought the, well, Scott bought me the set of 48 of the Prismacolor markers at Michael's. When I first started coloring, I only colored with markers. And I wanted the Prismacolor markers, so he bought me the set of 48 at Michael's, and I had like a 60% off coupon. So that's why I got the Prismas and I bought the 48. And then every time Catherine and I go, um, to the art supply store, I would buy five more. And then when, when my friend Lisa had contacted me that she won, she didn't want her Copics anymore. Did I want to buy them from her? I'm like, yes. And I had the money then, so I bought them from her. But, yeah, I he bought me. They were, um, I think, a birthday gift when he bought me the Prisma markers. You have the Ren wires coming and the Spectrum Nor color blends. I don't have those. Yes, I like having options. I know you can't replace the Black Widows individually. I wish you could. It's mostly the expensive colored pencils that you can replace individually.
You have a pencil video going up tomorrow? That is so funny. I know, Nina Beaner. Those were the first ones I bought, too. The Marco Rafines. I'm like, oh, these are really nice. I like them. I think it's because it's what my son bought. Because Justin was buying color and stuff when I started buying color and stuff. And he said, Mom, you would like these Marco Rafines. So I bought me a set. And then he found the Prismacolor pencils and bought a set of those and said, you need a set of these. <laughs> I'm like, you need to stop telling me this. And then he stopped coloring. I'm like, really? He has all this coloring stuff. And I tell him to bring it over when he comes here. Every, he comes here for dinner every other Saturday. But no. But now I got him into diamond painting. And he brings the diamond painting with him. <laughs> I'm like, you need to bring your color in too. Oh, okay, Laura. I'll watch that. I have their Rogitins. Um, I like them, but I think it depends on what paper I'm using them on. But this year, see, I'm working out of the five coloring books I'm mostly coloring out of that I want to use every set of pencils I have in those coloring books. So I can get a feel for what papers work best with the certain pencils. And I definitely do not need any more colored pencils. So if they come out with new ones, I don't need them. But if like the if the Black Widows come out with another new set, I would buy that because I already know I like them. You mentioned that in your video. Oh my gosh, Laura, we like think alike. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I know it is too funny. I didn't know you were doing a video like that. Pearl wants in here, but she's driving me nuts. I can hear her yelling at the door. Let me in, let me in. What time is it? Oh, we got nine minutes left. Okay, Christy, thank you so much for coming in. I hope you feel better and love you too. Well, that's what I heard, Rosemary, but I wasn't sure if that was true. But if they do, I will get them because I really like my set. And I was, I was using them a lot. See, when I get a new set of pencils, it seems like I use them a lot before I switch to something else. But if I don't use a brand of pencils a lot, then I don't really get used to them and when people ask questions, it's like, well, I don't know because I haven't really used them very much. And the feelers are okay. I had a couple that kept breaking every time that I was sharpening them. So I'm hoping to finish this page this week. And then I'm working on the buddy color I have going on with Laura. Yeah, I have the skin tone sets. I don't have the Sioux colors. I do have the skin tone sets of the Black Widow. And my mom had mentioned she wanted a skin tone set of certain of pen, any pencils. So my son Justin bought her the Black Widow, the dark and the light skin tone sets. And she doesn't do a lot of shading. She does a lot of straight coloring. But, um... She'll work with them. 
And she hasn't been coloring much. And she got into the diamond paint. And I bought her a diamond. I bought her a diamond painting kit for Christmas. It's a hummingbird from DAC. And she's been buying diamond paintings online. She has like four or five more. And she's ordering some more. So yes, I got her hooked on that. <laughs> What's the sh for, Laura? Okay, Tammy, take care. Oh, you will like that, Laura. I have the Lyra Rembrandt pencils, and I like those. And I have the... Um, what's the other set they say to get to work with them? I don't remember now. But I got those too because everybody told me they work well together. The delis. So I have the Lyra Rembrandts and the delis because I was told they work really good together. Oh, our buddy color. <laughs> That's okay. I just... I don't want to, I want to get some of my whips done. I don't have the Marco Renars, Renors or however you pronounce it. I don't have those. Ren wires. And I'm not buying cross stitch stuff for a long time. I don't need anything. Even though the the Mirabilia comes out with new ones or Nora, Nora Corbett, they're the same person. She comes out with new ones every month. But I have so many of them that I'm not buying more. Okay. Do I want like a black? Bye, Patty. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it very much. I think this is black. Bye, Carol. You have a great night, too. I'm getting ready to say goodbye anyways. It's almost 10 o'clock. And I'm usually in bed around 10.30. I like to... Well, since Scott's now home in the mornings, he's still sleeping when I get up. So I like to get my clothes ready and in the bathroom so I don't wake him up in the morning. And get get my lunch and my breakfast put in the fridge and set up for what I'm taking tomorrow and my color and stuff. Bye, Lisa. Yeah, I have a small set of the gold Fabers, and I want the rest of them. I like to have options. But I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. I need to get ready for bed and... Get stuff ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow I will live stream my planners. I don't know if anybody else streams tonight, Nina Beaner. But I will be doing my 
planner live stream tomorrow i got the new simply gilded subscription box came in so i will be unboxing that because i don't know what it looks like i didn't look at it it's still in the package so i will open that tomorrow and probably do a spread next week's spread with it or this week's i can't remember if i even did this week's yet so I will be doing that, and that is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. And no, you don't have to have planners or do them to watch. We just chat in there, too. But I give people ideas how to use their planners. Even if you don't have a busy life, I have one I call my project planner, and it keeps track of the color lawns and all that stuff. So, hi Jackie and bye Jackie. <laughs> I didn't see you come in either. <laughs> so, I will see whoever comes in tomorrow night. And Wednesday night is cross stitching. I think what I'm going to do at the beginning of that is show all my whips because Ann asked me to do a whip parade like the other cross stitchers are doing. So I think I'm going to do that at the beginning and then if anybody wants to pull out their cross stitch, if they have questions from me teaching it two weeks ago, then we can do that. So that's what's going on. And then I will discuss this weekend's. So you're welcome, Janae. So goodbye, everybody. You all have a great night. And those of you that can't get any sleep, I hope you get your sleep tonight. You guys need it. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.